Hi everyone, I want to talk about what it means for scholarship to be a conversation. Uh, I think the first thing to say is that scholarship really is a conversation. What happens when scholars do their work is that they get together and talk to each other about what their research is showing. Uh, you can think of this as an actual conversation. And in fact, when we go to academic conferences and things like that, we do actually just sit around the table sometimes and, and talk about what we're doing. But the main way that the scholarly conversation happens is through journals and books. What we do is write up our findings, uh, present our research, and then publish it in the form, sometimes in a long form, which would be a book, uh, sometimes in a shorter form, which would be an article. In either case, what's happening is that scholars are interacting with each other. And so you'll find when you pick up an academic journal or a scholarly book that scholars are referring to each other in their citations, in the bibliographies, in footnotes, if you use that kind of thing. Because every piece of scholarship, every article that's written, is a response to something else. And what's happened is we read what someone else wrote, we respond to it, and the scholarly conversation goes on in that way. So as my director used to say, uh, you can't be a scholar on the desert island because if you're stuck alone, you can think really deep and amazing thoughts, but you're not actually doing scholarship. You always engage in a conversation. You need other scholars to be a true scholar yourself. So here are three sort of steps to figure out how to engage in this scholarly conversation. The first thing is, is to figure out how the conversation is going. Once you pick your topic, then you have to look at what scholars are saying about that topic. Um, and, and think about this in the exact same way you would if you just walked up to a circle of people who were talking about something. You would wait a second, you would see what they're talking about, you would see who is saying what, then you would figure out some way to offer your own perspective in the conversation, but you have to understand what the scholarly conversation is doing at the moment before you can engage in it. So this is why we have you read so much in this program, because you need to engage with the other scholars. You need to see what they're saying and figure out then what you're going to say. Once you figure out what the scholarly conversation is doing, then you have to decide what's missing. I think the assumption you always bring to a conversation is that some, not everything is being said that needs to be said. And so your job is to identify something that's missing from your own perspective and then begin the process of figuring out how to um, it, to fill in whatever that is. And so that's what we'd call step three then, is to uh, contribute to the conversation in some way. Now, this happens in a couple of different ways. One is you just have your own perspective that provides your own contribution. But the other thing is you do research. Uh, your research is your contribution to the discussion. So when you research, I really encourage you to, to research with that view in mind. There's a conversation going on you've identified something that's missing and you want to contribute to it and that's what your research is going to do. It's going to offer a substantial uh, converse, contribution to the ongoing scholarly conversation. And the bottom line is to all of this is that you're ready to go. If you can identify a conversation, if you can identify what the various people are saying in the conversation, then you're ready to contribute to it. So as you progress in this program, I want you to think more and more as a scholar. I want you to think of someone who is qualified to engage in an ongoing conversation uh, about your favorite topic.